Hello and welcome back to the channel where today I'm sharing something of a secret. Now as I film this, winter is just about to arrive here in 2022 and that means that the car show season has been and gone and I went to several shows where I saw lots of fantastic cars from pretty much every manufacturer from every decade in the last hundred years. And at the shows, well, there's always a nice lot of fast forwards to look at. Pretty much every model is represented at the shows, whether it be the XRs, the STs, RS Turbos, Focus RSs, Cosworths, and many, many more. People love fast forwards, so much so that, well, prices, they've risen sharply in recent years. And that means that fast forwards can be difficult to get into if you're working to a budget. But there is good news. You see, there's a secret fast forward, one that very few people have caught on to. In fact, I haven't seen any of these at the shows this year. What is it? Well, it's stylish. It's high specification. It's turbocharged. It's got a five cylinder engine. It's great to drive and it's quick. But shh, because it's a secret. So in this video, let's take a look at The Ford Mondeo Titanium X 2.5 Turbo. Win on Sunday, sell on Monday. The well-known mantra that Ford applied when developing cars for motorsport and how that translated into sales and creating road-going versions of those motorsport legends well, that gave customers a real aspiration to go out and buy one or to buy one as close to that model as you could afford. It was a smart approach from Ford and it gave real racing heritage to some of the halo Ford models that we saw on the road. But of course, it's the true homologation specials that are proving the most desirable and the most valuable. In recent years, Ford have wound back their motorsport involvement but the sale of fast forwards continues to be strong with the recent Ford Focus RS and the ST range selling well and proving desirable cars despite their absence from any real motorsport. Still, these models are destined to become modern classics. And there's a long history of Ford giving us high performance versions of their large family sized cars. And that started with the Cortina when back in 1963, they produced the Lotus Cortina. This continued through to the Sierra with the XR4i, the XR4x4 and the Sierra Cosworth, and then followed the Mondeo with the ST200 and the ST220. All great cars with their own following. And well, that brings us up to this, this quite ordinary looking Mark IV Mondeo. No large spoilers, no body kits, no big wheels, no loud colors. But there's something very special indeed under there. We'll get to that in a moment, but before we do, Let's do a quick run through of the Mondeo history. Since the early 90s, the Mondeo has been Ford's large family car. And little did any of us know back in 1993 when this launched that it would actually be Ford's last. That's right, early in 2022. Well, production of the Mondeo ceased as it gave way to the all conquering SUV. The Mondeo was Ford's first world car designed and produced for international customers to be sold right across the globe. Even the car's name tells us this, Mondeo is derived from the Latin word mundus, which means world. Introduced in 1992, it wasn't until March 1993 that the first generation Mondeo actually went on sale. It replaced the Sierra here in the UK and Europe, the Ford Telstar in much of Asia, and the Ford Tempo and Mercury Topaz in much of the US. Unlike the Sierra, the Mondeo is front wheel drive in its most common form with a rarer four wheel drive version available only in Mark I. A facelift of the popular Mondeo was launched in October 1996. New headlights, rear lights and bumpers formed part of the extensive redesign, which is known as the Mondeo Mark II. It was with the Mark II that Ford really gave us the first two hot Mondeos the ST24 and the brilliant ST200. Consistent with Ford's more angular and sharp design of the time, the second generation Mondeo launched in 2000. Now all cars seem to get larger with each iteration and the Mondeo is no exception with the second gen being considerably bigger than that first generation car. Again, we saw a Mondeo wearing an ST badge. 
the ST Diesel, the ST155, and the smooth, powerful 3.0-litre petrol ST220. Ford's facelift of the second generation was more subtle than that of the first gen. Fresh rear lights, some interior upgrades, and the launch of the titanium trim level, which took top spot from gear. Generation 3, also known as the Mark IV, arrived in 2006 and truly was an all-new Mondeo, based on the Ford Volvo jointly developed EU CD platform. The launch of this Mondeo was also marked with a brief appearance in the James Bond movie Casino Royale. So not only is this a secret fast Ford, it's also a Bond car. Now the fourth generation Mondeo, well that landed in 2012 and that's a smart looking car with the design incorporating the larger grille seen right across the Ford range. The fourth gen or the Mark V Mondeo was an excellent car but it seems well the world has moved on and due to the declining sales and the growing trend towards crossover SUVs, Ford announced in March 2021 its intention to discontinue production of the Mondeo in Europe with no successor. Production of the Mondeo ended in Europe with the final car, a grey Mondeo, completed on the 4th of April 2022. It's fitting then that we're looking at this hot, well, very warm Mondeo here in 2022. And here's what all the fuss is about. This is what makes this car a fast Ford. This is the 2.5 litre inline five cylinder turbocharged engine producing 216 brake horsepower, a 0 to 60 time of under seven seconds and a top speed of 152 miles an hour. In fact, I'll put on the screen now the performance stats of some of the better known family size fast Fords. This 2.5 turbo titanium X stands up very well indeed. In fact, if I have this right, then the Mondeo is the fastest Ford in its class since the much coveted Sierra Cosworth. Now that is impressive. This car in fact has the same engine as the Mark II Ford Focus ST and the Focus RS, albeit with some performance upgrades. What we do know though is that this engine is highly tunable and capable of some big power that could make this car a very quick car indeed. Sat inside the car, it feels premium. It feels real luxury and sporty. And as for these seats, well, they hold you nicely when you're driving. And the half leather, half Alcantara finish looks really good. Plus, these seats are heated. And the high specification, well, it continues from there. Inside this car, you have dual zone digital climate control, a six disc Sony CD player, heated front and rear screens, traction control, cruise control, steering wheel mounted stereo controls, Ford's trip computer, auto headlights, auto wipers, push button start, the list goes on and on. And all these controls are wrapped in this lovely and once again premium feel brushed metal dashboard. Outside of the car, well this Mondeo has Xenon Guide Me Home headlights that turn when you turn the wheel. It has 18 inch five spoke Y design alloy wheels, which I think are a little nod to this car's ST connection. Also on the outside, it's got that lovely rear boot lid spoiler, which looks fantastic. Just the right balance of sporty and subtle. This Mondeo doesn't shout about its performance credentials. It's a wolf in sheep's clothing. It's a cue car. It's a sleeper. It's a secret fast forward. Wow, the premium, that luxury feel extends to the way that this car drives. It really is effortless. I believe I could drive this thing from here all the way to Scotland and will I get out as fresh as I did when I got in the car. And as for the way that the power's delivered, I'd rarely need to change gear. This is a great car to drive. Now, drive it sensibly and you've got a powerful luxury car. But drop down a few gears and push that accelerator. Whoa! -ho -ho! This is a quick car. Okay, it might not do it with the noise, the drama, the stiff suspension of the ST and the RSs, but this car's got performance where it counts. It really is fast. Is this 2.5 litre turbo Mondeo 
Well, a balance of everything that we need. In fact, is this the only car that any of us ever really need? This is a large car. It's capable of carrying five adults in comfort and you can get it as an estate. Not that you need it because the boot on this hatchback is massive. It's quick. It's fun to drive. It's high specification. There are loads of toys here and driver comforts. And it's stylish. I mean, I think that this design of the Mondeo still looks good today. It hasn't dated really at all. And in fast forward terms, it's cheap. Three grand puts you in a good one of these. And for £3,000, well, you couldn't buy the roughest Focus ST out there. This car is such good value. It's hard then, isn't it, to understand why Ford would stop making the Mondeo. But to be honest, it's our fault because we stopped buying them. And driving this car now, I cannot understand why. This Mondeo Turbo is all the car any of us ever need. This car is a Mondeo ST without the badge. Now I know some of you who'll be watching will be turning your nose up at the thought of putting this car in the same category as those XRs and RSs that have gone before and this car's ST stablemates. But this is a fast Ford and it deserves that title. So don't rule it out, it really is a good car and it's quick. But also driving this car has reminded me how good the Mondeo is, how good it is to drive and how sad I am that the Mondeo has come to an end. It really is hard to believe that the Mondeo, and with it the Mondeo Man, made famous of course by Tony Blair, they'll be gone from our roads in 10 to 15 years time, just like the Sierra and the Cortina that went before. Anyway, if you can find one of these, a good one of these, then do consider it. Maybe buy yourself one, because this really is the last performance Ford bargain. And these days, they are phrases that are rarely in the same sentence. Performance Ford and bargain. Do go and get one if you can find one. As for me with this car, well, I bought it back in the summer. I came across it purely by chance. I thought it was good value and I wanted to experience one again. I say again because I have had one of these before. I had an estate and that was a great car as well. The thing is, if you've been watching my channel, well, you'll know that I own this car's great grandfather. Well, kind of. And I own a Ford Focus Mark II ST, which has the same engine. And because of those two cars, well, I'm just not using this car very much. Plus, a good friend of mine contacted me the other day and asked me if I'd be interested in selling this Mondeo. Now, he's a real Ford enthusiast. I know this car would be going to a good home and would be driven and enjoyed. And because of that, we've agreed a deal. And as for me, well, I'm just glad to have experienced one of these again and to have been able to share this car with you here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please click that like button and smash that subscribe button. It really helps the channel. Also, if you've got some thoughts about this fast forward bargain, then let me know in the comments below. But I do appreciate you watching. Thanks so much. And I'll see you again soon here at the channel. Bye for now. Bye bye.